Mark Spec the Comics, and I'm back. This time, with my top five picks for new comic book day. If you're interested in seeing what picks they are, stay tuned for that intro. All right, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you'll get in a timely fashion. All right, so uh, been a little busy about the last week. If you, if I've talked to you recently, then you know what what's been going on. So uh, haven't been able to make any content. So finally got back into it, but I am going to drop you my five picks for new comic book day, and I'll give you some uh, honorable mentions. So let's start with number five this week. So number five is coming from Aftershock Comics, and it's going to be Spectro number one. It is a one shot couple of covers that I thought are pretty interesting. I like the colors. I like the concept. I think it's going to be hot. It basically explores the unnerving spectrum of fear through four terrifying stories rooted in a cosmic game of twisted karma and phantasmagoric terror. So uh, I think it's going to be pretty cool. Four stories talk about what's at stake when sentient technology manipulates a man with projections of his desired self. What are the consequences of excommunicating a member of the nine planets? What is discovered when an explorer travels to Mars to ascend the tallest mountain in the solar system? Which is familiar, I believe it's called Olympic Mons, is the tallest mountain in all of the galaxy. Which, you know, sounds pretty interesting. Um, and the last one is, what happens when a scientist aboard the International Space Station is confronted with the most horrifying aspects of humankind? Sounds very interesting. I'm going to check that one out. Number four this week, coming from Marvel. We got Punisher number three. And uh, the series has been pretty good. I, you know, I've enjoyed it. Um, talks about the origin of the Punisher and his first kill. You do see a pretty cool cover there, which you see young Punisher, Frank Castle. Um, gonna stick with it. It's been pretty hot. I like it. Number three this week, going to DC, only DC book this week. We got another continued favorite of mine, Batman Beyond the White Knight, issue number three. Duke Thomas becomes Robin. Um, this could have some weight going down forward, who knows? But um, the story's been good. I've enjoyed the artwork, it's been fantastic. So that's my number three this week. Number two. All right, number two this week could have easily been number one. Um, this is going to be from Image Comics. This is Department of Truth, issue number 18. The cover, Incentive by Todd McFarlane. I believe this is a one in 100, so it's going to be pricey. That's why I made it number two. Um, and also because there's a Metal Megacon exclusive, which was limited to, I think, 400. But that one's selling for over like $200 right now, which is crazy. Um, the Department of Truth battled a secret war against its Soviet counterpart, the Ministry of Lies. Sounds like it's going to be a good read as well. So uh, I'm not familiar if Todd McFarlane has done any, you know, variant covers for this series yet, but uh, if he has, let me know. So uh, that's number two this week. Um, before we get into number one, I'm going to mention a few honorable mentions to look out for. Um, Image also comes back with Mirka Indolfo's Unnatural. So it's uh, Unnatural Blue Blood, number one. I've enjoyed that first series. That was basically the story that put Mirka Indolfo on the map. You know, she's done a lot of great cover art, but in that series, she did the writing and the artwork. So it was fantastic. So basically, this is a few years later. Leslie and Cal return for a thrilling new adventure. New villains coming, new stories, so forth. It's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to check that one out. Um, we got Spider-Man 2099, Exodus number one, first appearance of Winter Soldier 2099, aka Winter Soldier 13. That's going to be, you know, a little bit of a spec play. Who knows? You never know with these books down, down the road if anything pans out with those. But for cover, you can't go wrong if that's something you're interested in. And then my uh, last honorable mention is going to be Recount Preamble number one. It's basically going to be a prequel to Recount, which was a pretty successful uh, Scout Comics book, which has now been optioned. So if you want to learn a little bit about, you know, what happened leading up to that story, 
check it out. So, number one this week, we're going to be going to Marvel, and it's an X-Men book. Go figure. It's, you know, I don't often recommend uh, X-Men books because I'm just, you know, not the biggest fan of the uh, writing that's coming out from X-Men, but uh, this one has a lot of speculation just because it's a ton of characters. So, Legion of X, number one. First team appearance of the Legion of X, Juggernaut, Nightcrawler, Pixie. Also going to have a bunch of new first appearances. First appearance of Weaponless Zen. First appearance of Aura Serrata. First appearance of Mother Righteous. And the first appearance of an Iraqi god referred to as Skinjacker. So whenever you get that many first appearances, it usually brings up a big, you know, I guess, red flag that this could be uh, something down the road. You don't put that many first appearances into a new number one for no reason. So, um, can't go wrong for cover price. Check it out. There are a lot of cool covers. i um, not going to recommend anything specifically. But um, that's going to be my number one for this week. So, that's it for new comic book day this week. If you guys enjoyed my top five picks, feel free to hit the thumbs up. Comment down below what you're going to be picking up. And until next week, Mark Spectre Comics, out.